Hello and welcome back to Food Physics and Body Dynamics, where we're going to talk about the color and flavor of each of the foods that you consume and what organ systems they most affect. From that, you will be able to gain better understanding and control on how to manage your own health and wellness. So without further ado, let's begin with the five colors. The first color is red. Red is associated with the heart function, so it's most important to understand that heart issues will respond to foods that are colored red. Again, red is associated with the heart organ system. Red foods affect the heart. Affect is different than effect, so keep that in mind as we move on to the second color. It is green. The color green is associated with the liver, and the liver is most um, complemented by foods that are dark, leafy, and green. Uh, the richness of chlorophyll particularly works well with uh, the cleansing effect that the liver requires since it re is responsible for so many management functions of the body's bloodstream. So again, the color green is associated with the liver. And again, we'll talk about more of the effect that each one of these colors can and will have on those organ systems in later programs. The third color is yellow or golden. Uh, we're coming into holiday season for October. We're looking at pumpkins and squashes and winter vegetables here in the North American continent. Uh, so it's interesting that this is a time that will affect the spleen and pancreas most efficiently. So we can choose foods that will strengthen our immune response, which is, of course, housed in, for the most part, the spleen, where it is redistributed through replication in the blood cells. We'll talk more about that later in our programs, again, as we get deeper into the actions of these colors onto the organ systems. And the fourth color we're going to talk about today is blue to purple to black foods like black beans, um, blue corn chips, and purple cabbage. Those foods have a component in them, in them that most affects the kidney and the bladder. So the body function, if you want to target that specific area of the body, with a positive or a withdrawing function, you can do that with purple or dark or black foods. So again, the kidney is affected by purple, blue, black foods. The final color we'll talk about of the five colors is white. And I know we've been told and a lot of, there's a lot of press about avoiding white foods, but there are some great white foods, things like onions and cauliflower. So we wanna talk about the color white and the organ system associated with foods that we consume that are white. Most often when foods are white, they affect the lungs. So it's very important to remember that white foods neurologically are more likely to be impacting the lung of the body. So you can target actions by picking foods of color in order to target an organ system. Again, our five colors for today are red, green, yellow, dark blue to black, and white. Again, red, green, yellow, black to dark blue, and white. And those organ systems are associated with them, our heart, liver, spleen, the kidneys, and the lungs. So we'll talk more about those in our next program. And thank you very much for your questions. We'll do our best to keep up with that in our next session when we talk about the flavors. There are five flavors of food, and we'll talk about them and how they're associated with the organ systems in your body. Thank you so much for watching today, and keep those calls and letters coming. We're delighted. TheSpiritOfFood.com. Sophie will collect your questions. TheSpiritOfFood.com. Sophie will answer your questions there. So click on the link and ask a question, and we'll get back to you. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Goodbye.